So I'm going to show you the ba a good basic cast on, and that's called the long tail cast on. It's a very good all-purpose cast on because it is fast and sturdy, and I use it for everything except for perhaps something that needs to be very very stretchy, like the top of socks. So we take the end. We've got our ball of wool. We take the end of the ball of wool and leave a tail. And the first thing we need to do is to make a slip knot. So we curl the wool around like this. You can see it's curled around like this. And then we can put our fingers through and hook the wool through like this. And we've got a slip knot. I'll show you that again. So we can curl the wool around like this. And then we push the wool up through here and pull it tight. We need to put our needle through this loop and then we pull it tight onto it. So we have one tail and that's the tail here and then we have the other string and that's attached to our ball of wool. So we put that to the side and we're going to use with this we're going to use this tail. So the first thing I do is I tension my yarn in my right hand. So I put my little finger around over the top of the wool underneath like this. The wool goes underneath my third and fourth fingers and across my second. And, this, and the needle lies over my thumb like this. I'll show you that one more time. So I have my little finger and I go over the top of the yarn and curl round like this. Then the wool is going to go underneath the third and fourth fingers and a top of the second finger across the end of it like this. And the needle itself is going to lie on top of my thumb and then I hold it like a pencil but between the thumb and the second finger. Now, with this yarn on this side, I'm going to hold it with my fingers like this and I'm going to put my thumb over the top of the yarn, down and around like that. I'll show you again. So hold it here, over the top of the yarn, down and around like this. And then I'm going to slip the needle up through here and I can pinch it to hold it steady with my thumb and forefinger and then I'm going to knit. So pull my wool, wool round behind the needle like this and then with my thumb I'm going to put that little loop over the top of the stitch and I'm going to pull with my left hand. So I don't pull with this otherwise the stitches are going to get too tight. I pull with the tail end. So I'll show you again. We hold the, the wool like this the thumb goes over the top of the yarn, down around underneath like this, and then we put the needle up through. I can hold the needle in place. The working yarn goes anti-clockwise down behind the needle, and then my thumb takes the loop and puts it across the needle and I pull it tight with my left hand. And you can see we've got stitches on our needle. And that's what we need. We need a row of stitches on our needle so that we can knit on, on from then. So any pattern that says to you, cast on X amount of stitches, you can use this for. So the thumb goes over the top of the, of the wool, around underneath, and then the needle goes up and through. I hold the needle with my left hand and I feed the working yarn anti-clockwise underneath behind the needle and my left hand thumb plops the loop over the top and I pull. So I'm going to do this again a few times slowly. Thumb over the top of the yarn.
I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like up to speed because then you can get an idea when you're familiar with it how quick and easy it is. Okay, so now I'm going to sh go again slow and you can see under here you've got little slanty stitches and that's the right side. That's going to be your right side of your knitting. That's quite a pretty edge. You can see these slanty stitches. The wrong side of the knitting is bumpy and that's a little uglier. So we keep it like that and it's pretty. So I'm going to show you again slowly. I tension my yarn with my right hand so my little finger goes over the top of the yarn and round. The yarn goes under my fourth and third fingers across the bottom of my second and the needle sits in like a pencil between my thumb and my forefinger. My left hand fingers hold the tail end of the yarn like this. The thumb goes over the top underneath and then I'm going to push the, the needle up through there, pinch it to hold it stable with my left finger and thumb and the right working yarn goes anti-clockwise down underneath the needle and the loop with my left hand thumb goes over the top and I pull with my left hand not the right hand because we don't we want the stitches to be nice and even and to smoothly slide not to be so tight that you can't move them on the needle Good, now I'm going to count how many stitches I've got and I count, you can count in twos or you can count in fives. Counting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. I'm going to make it even. One more. Twenty-six. If you were to count your stitches in fives, that's about the biggest number that the eye can identify. So you think of a three and a two perhaps. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six. But I actually find two, counting in twos quicker. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, two, twenty-four, twenty-six. So that's casting on in the long tail method.